Hi guys, thank you for watching. I'm Guillaume, you may know me as Duam uh, in the Vmix forum. Um, first, I'm going to say that after 30 years in the video production business, it's the very first time I'm this side of the camera. I'm not used to it, not at all, and not really comfy at the moment, but let's give it a try. Hopefully, I can do something. Um, today, I decided to make a short video about my use case of the Akai APC Mini. Uh, for those who don't know, it's a MIDI controller that we can easily use with VMIX uh, to replace a switcher control panel. Uh, it's pretty cheap, quite powerful and very easy to use uh, if you're looking for a solution for switching and operating VMIX, the Akai is a very good solution. So let's make a quick overview of my Akai as setup for the moment. Um, first I'm going to explain um, I, I generally use up to six cameras uh, one to one, up to six. These are the six first columns. Everything here concerns input one, two, three. And the last two, I'm going to switch quickly so you can see, are made for multi-views. I always use multi-views in my productions. So let's go back. Okay. Um, these five first buttons, uh, I use them for, this one is for full screen, on off, full screen toggle, streaming, on off, recording, it's green because I'm recording, external and external too. I'll come back to this one later. These buttons are transitions buttons. Uh, I'll show you later on as well. The faders. Um, this one is for master audio input. This one is for headphones. And this one is for... Uh, oh, I did a mistake. This one is for master audio output. This one is for headphones. And this one is for audio input. I, I usually use an audio mixer um, to get audio into vMix uh, from the venue facility or from my own technician and I will con control the input with this one. The first six faders will follow the camera. Uh, if I need um, to get the applause from the audience for example I can do this or this if my other technician does not do that already so I can get the atmosphere in the venue uh, with the microphones inside the cameras at the moment I'm recording this with camera number two uh, so it's up so you can hear me I quite don't use these buttons uh, occasionally I may set them for special needs for example, those two can be for data source, uh, previous row, next row. Uh, these can be for media playing, play, restart media, and this one's for other things, depending on my needs. Then the 64 pads are only used for switching inputs. I do not use the Akai Mini for uh, title management or for other things. Uh, I will certainly prefer to use the mouse if I need to overlay a title, uh, lower third or title. Uh, uh, I prefer to be sure I selected the, the, the good name, the good title before displaying it. So I do it with the mouse in vMix. Uh, okay, this first row here is for preview. Everything I press here goes to preview and green shows uh, the, the button turns green so that I can see what is in preview. The second row is for program out. So if I press here, you see me, the Akai, and I input some videos here and these two last row, uh, columns are for multi-views. I always use multi-views, always use 
two or more multi views and I always have multi views on input seven and in input eight. You will understand why I do this later on. So let's go back. The third row um, allows me to picture and picture and input. Okay, I press here, you see me. I press there, you see a girl. Okay, very basic stuff. I can also uh, picture and picture and multi view. Um, the fourth row is for external too. I told you before that this button is external too. Uh, if I press here, uh, external to external to will follow my program output. So everything I do on program goes to external to. But anytime I can do a different switching, only for external to. And what I like with this setup is I can do double switching. For example, I can input. 1 and 3, 1 for program and 3 for external 2. I can press two buttons at the same time. You see it now. So it's very handy for uh, when you have a big screen on stage and you have um, a white shot uh, with, with the, white, uh, the big screen in the shot. So if you send uh, the, 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 the white view, the white shot, uh, in the big screen, uh, you are very likely to have a video loop or video e echo. I don't know how you call that in English. Uh, I don't want to do that. So if I go to the, the wide view, I will select another input for display in the big screen. And this setup is very handy to do that. Then, as you can see, I've got four more rows uh, I will use on the six first inputs only. Um, these, I don't switch to multi-view so that you understand. Uh, as you can see, this multi-view is made of three overlays. Uh, I'm overlay number one, the girl is overlay number two, and the, the large image of the Akai Mini is overlay number three. I use the set multi-view overlay um, to be able to switch in the overlays directly. For example, here I'm going to send another video inside overlay number two, coming back to this one. I can do the same for overlay number one very easily. I send anything where I want. And here also I can do double switching, change two images at the same time by pressing two buttons. I like that a lot. Okay, this one is useless. Um, so these two rows are used for shortcuts with set multi-view overlay. And these two yellow rows are the same, but for my input number eight, which is multi view number two, and same thing applies. I can change my image by anything else, anytime, very easily, double switching, and things like that. So, um, I think that's oh, I forgot to talk about the, the transitions. Um, let's go back on me and okay uh, so I set this button to be a take button so everything in preview goes to uh, program with a cut up 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 very easy this one is the same uh, but it will fade from preview to program okay this one is the merge one so you know the merge transition, very handy, and this one is not well. It's, it's yeah, I've got cross zoom, but this one will vary uh, depending on the production need. Uh, I change this one uh, very often. At the moment, it's cross zoom. So.
So that's about it. Uh, that's how I use the Akai Mini. So feel free to comment and to give me your feedback about it. I'd be pleased to um, know what you do and how you use it. Uh, maybe we can exchange tips. Maybe this video will be inspiring for some of you. But um, I'm not sure this is the best solution. I'm only trying to use it um, the best way possible. So feel free to, to comment and to tell me what you think about this. Okay, uh, bye bye, see you.